G'day. So this video is about uh, the pressure pot and uh, silicon molds that I use to make the epoxy bowls. The pressure pot, um, California Tools is the manufacturer. You can get on uh, Amazon and um, it's specifically made for creating resin work. The crafted elements uh, silicon molds, they come from Canada, also a link below for you to check out. Um, the two in particular I use is the 12-inch uh, and 16-inch diameter bowls. Why I use the crafted elements? Well, that's a good question because um, there's a lot of different silicon molds out there. Um, you've really got to get those that are quality made, which crafted are. The uh, thickness of the walls are around about uh, an inch just under, and the bottom's also very, very thick and uh, robust. So if you want the molds to last and um, complete dozens of different epoxy bowls, you've really got to pay the money to get the quality ones rather than the uh, thinner walled ones which are going to give you a lot of heartache. Believe me, I've been there and done that. So um, this video, I'm going to show you how the uh, pressure pot uh, uh, is used uh, with the silicon molds in conjunction. A few hints and tips as we go along. The reason I use a pressure pot and maybe not a vacuum chamber is because the working time I use with the 50-50 casting resin from mainly Let's Resin. Um, again, link below, a little hint for those supplies that have been fantastic uh, for my channel. Um, is because we'll, we'll send the resin cast very, very quickly. And with the type of uh, pores that I do, um, past the recommended thickness, etc., um, you could get into uh, some thermic uh, cracks in the actual uh, bowl pores. So um, I like to stick to having that uh, small working time pour it straight into the uh, wood and the moulds and then get the pressure pot going which then forces the resin into the cracks and crannies of the wood that you're dealing with and also the grain etc so when it, it does come out it's one whole bowl blank ready to go on the lathe. The uh, silicon moulds I spray with a uh, um, spray release um, and that allows the uh, resin to be pulled out of the moulds fairly easily. Haven't had any trouble whatsoever in getting uh, the, the uh, work out of the uh, silicon moulds. So I've invested heavily in this uh, equipment, um, but it produces some very nice um, pieces. As I say, you know, your tools are the things that you need to look after and uh, get the best tools for the job. Now this is the uh, five gallon pressure pot from California Tools. It has all of the safety equipment on top of this um, vessel. Particularly, it's going up to 80 psi. I normally take it to 50 psi. The gauge there is fairly accurate. 50 is enough for, um, I guess, the epoxy to um, penetrate the wood. The crafted elements uh, silicon molds. This is a 12 by 4 inch mold. You can see the thickness of the walls as the camera comes in close there. Quality product. And we have the 16-inch uh, mould by 5-inch deep. Since the pressure pot comes concave, it's better to have a piece of plywood at the bottom of the um, pot to uh, give it a flat and stable surface. Another tip is to put a couple of straps at the bottom so when you put the silicon moulds on top of these straps, they can be used to pull the hole mold from the pressure pot. I can tell you these projects are very very heavy 20 or 30 pounds depending on how much uh, epoxy is poured in so those straps will give you a great anchor to pull the whole thing out. So that's it guys the uh, story of the uh, pressure pot and silicon mold. Um, if there's anything you need to ask please put the comments below and uh, I will answer any comment that's uh, directed to questioning on this uh, on the uh, setup here. Till then guys, be ready for the next one. Cheers.